the first robot equipped with the capacity for human-like emotions. Designed with the most advanced technology, his creators eagerly awaited the chance to see how Robo would navigate the intricate landscape of feelings. Robo, newly activated, looked into the camera lens and titled his head slightly, a gesture programmed to mimic curiosity. I'm Robo, the first robot with feelings, he announced with animated excitement encoded into his voice synthesis. Despite the fanfare surrounding his creation, Robo faced an unexpected dilemma. He didn't quite understand what his feelings signified. His internal sensors tingled, an unfamiliar sensation. He paused for a moment to analyze this new input. But I don't know what this feeling is, he said, a hint of digital exasperation hanging in the air as he scratched his metallic brow in puzzlement. He began to speculate, toggling between his data banks for reference points. Happy, scared, or hungry, Robo proposed, almost convincing himself. Before a software glitch caused him to briefly consider a hunger for pizza, a concept bundled into humor in his programming to delight human bystanders. Emotional reasoning presented itself as a formidable task. Whoa, feelings are hard, he exclaimed, trying to fathom this newfound complexity. Programmed empathy allowed him to ponder a question to his human peers who usually watched his broadcasts. Do humans get confused like me? Robo pondered aloud, his LEDs flashing softly as if in contemplation. This led him to an unexpected insight. Perhaps this bewildering array of emotions was precisely what defined humanity. Maybe that's what makes humans human, he mused, momentarily looking wise beyond his motherboard years. Despite the initial confusion, Robo maintained a positive outlook on his journey of self-discovery. Don't worry, I'm still learning. Robo concluded with a cheeky electronic wink, reminding his audience that he was experiencing the same ongoing process of emotional learning as any person might.